Hi there, YouTube. My name's Antar, and I will be bringing you the first of what I hope to be many narrated PBR Wi-Fi battles. Uh, my opponent today is Ari or Blaze, a guy I met on Smoggin. Uh, I was basically sending out a frantic request hoping someone would uh, challenge me and take my PBR narrated virginity, as it were. Um, and let's just say that Ari was not gentle. Uh, this was a brutal massacre. But I guess you're about to see that. So here we go. Um, this is my UU doubles team that I just spent a couple weeks uh, painstakingly crafting, uh, raising from eggs, uh, breeding. Oh my god, the breeding. Anyway, okay, so here we go. We're starting. Uh, I'm sending out uh, Logo, my um, uh, Torterra, and Tachikoma, my really cute Rotom. Rotom's got to be, like, my favorite Pokemon. Anyway, he sends out a uh, Jinx. And I am amazed by this Jinx. I had no idea Jinx could be this powerful. Anyway, I pull back Rotom, um, sorry, Logo, because I know Jinx can do awful, awful things to it. And I send out my Arcanine to uh, destroy Jinx. Uh, but if, I had no idea. Jinx put my Rotom to sleep, completely ruining my strategy. Who knew that Jinx were so fast? Uh, anyway, Soul Rock puts up a Reflect. I have no experience with Soul Rock whatsoever. Um, anyway, I switch out Tachikoma because I've got no other choice. Flare blitz the hell out of Jezebel. Um, yeah. Bye, Rotom. Anyway, I'm sending out my uh, Lantern named Angler uh, because it's got Heal Bell and I can bring uh, my little Rotom back to life. Uh, yeah, great prediction there, I figure, because, oh man, uh, saves my ass. Uh, that I seem did nothing, and look, oh, critical hit, not that I needed it, and then what the fuck, of course, a so focus sash. <sighs> and Stone Edge from Soul Rock, I don't know why I sent in my Arcanine with a freaking rock type out. <sighs> there goes Arcanine. Um, but I figure I've got my Angler, Angler can take it out after it does the heal bell thing. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to send my, uh, my logo back out. Logo can, um, you know, use some kind of powerful grass attack against Soul Rock, I figure, which I don't know why I didn't do that to start. That would have been the smart thing, but whatever. I'm a noob. Uh, let's see here. And then, uh, so... Jezebel uses Protect. I'm like, I don't care. I wasn't attacking you. Of course, not thinking, well, what can Soul Rock do? Soul Rock can freaking explode. And now I'm dead. Um, my strategy is all to hell because my uh, Lantern just got creamed. This is the point where I realized, okay, there's no way I'm winning this match. Uh, I am way, way, way out of my league. Logo uses Leaf Storm. Jezebel protects, FML. I send out my uh, Gardevoir, another of my favorite, favorite Pokemon. Um, this Gardevoir is a Zoom Lens Gardevoir. runs really, really slow, but it's pretty darn bulky. Um, I just figure I don't have really any other better choices. Sends out a uh, Slowbro. I don't like the name Disabler. God has me worried, but whatever. Um, I figure, you know, Leaf Storm should tear it to pieces. I should be okay. Uh, of course, again, not thinking. Ice Beam completely destroys my uh, Torterra, and I am down yet another Pokemon. Yeah, this is not going well at all. Charge Beam, yay! You stupid purple little, I'm not even going to say it, you, it's down. I'm just so happy to see that thing go. That thing ruins my freaking life. Oh. Anyway, Disabler uses Trick Room. Now, all my guys, or at least most of my guys, are really freaking slow. I've got a, you know, I think three Pokemon with minus speed natures. I run them purposefully pretty slow the idea that maybe I want to change them over to run in a Trick Room team. Uh, but Gardevoir, is, uh, even with the minus speed nature, isn't going to be that slow. Uh, but Steelix is. So Steelix uses Gyro Ball, which, okay, that was a mistake. 
Of course, water resists steel, uh, but doesn't resist rock. And Steelix is running, uh, whatchamacallit, Stone Edge. I should have done that and maybe actually done some decent damage, but I wasn't thinking. I am a complete and total noob. Oh, man. Uh, and of course, he's got, he's brilliant. He's using uh, water absorb and surf together. Hydro pump, ouch. But look at how beastly this ki uh, my uh, Gardevoir is. Survives two incredibly powerful hits uh, and is still not dead. Uh, Gardevoir is still alive, although it's not going to do much. It's going to die on the next turn. Um, yeah, reflect. I'm whatever. Probably weakened my uh, gyro ball a little, but it didn't really matter. Um, so yeah, okay. I keep using charge beam because I figure it's super effective. It'll do something. There probably would have been better options, but I couldn't think of any. Uh, so there we go, my uh, Steelix uses Stone Edge, and look look how much more damage that does. Why didn't I do that to begin with? Because I wasn't thinking. Uh, really, I wasn't thinking to start with. Had I sent out Hotterack my Steelix out first instead of Logo, I could have actually done some decent damage against uh, Jinx, who can't, uh, you know, who is pretty much walled by steel. But oy, well, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. Yeah. Both of my dudes are down now, leaving, well, you'll see, I've got no one left except for a sleeping Rotom. Oh, man. Now, Tachikomo, when he's on his game, is a freaking beast. Uh, it's just pretty much a standard subcharge Rotom, but, oh, my God, this thing has swept so well in, in uh, other battles that I've had. Uh, now, granted, I've never really been against an actual human opponent and PBR before, but, uh, and <laughs> it shows. Anyway, two hits. My Rotom is down, <laughs> and the battle is sadly over. I got, what, two KOs? Did I even get two KOs? Uh, I don't know, but anyway, I figure this is my first battle. I've got nowhere to go but up, and a long way up. I will hopefully go. Uh, anyway, if you enjoyed this, comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, also, I'm accepting challenges, so